This tutorial will demonstrate how to convert Gerber and Drill files to IntelliJ ODB++. First, you need to import your Gerber and Drill files into BAP3000. You'll notice here is a perfect opportunity to assign the layer types such as top, bottom, drill, mask, and others. At this point, you can also assign the stack up as ODB++ does require layer types and the order to be defined. By simply dragging up and down, you can assign the layer order. You can also assign layer order and layer types in the layers table. Next required for ODB++ is to create a border. You can either draw a border or you can use the embedded tools such as a automatic border detection or border selective, which will create a single outline border. Your border may also contain inner cutouts, which also must be closed continuous boundaries. All right, this is an optional step, but we're going to extract a netlist, which is the electronic interconnectivity uh, for your design. As you'll see here now, we're able to go ahead and easily browse through and see the connectivity has been established just from your Gerber files. All right, now here's the optional part that is a bit time consuming and that's to generate components. First, we're gonna show you the shortcut. If you happen to have an IPC netlist file, you can simply import that netlist file into your Fab 3000. And once you've imported the netlist file, you can use the command called convert to components, which will extract all the component information uh, that's required, which can be a big time saver uh, if you do have that available. And as you'll see here, convert, and basically all components have been defined. However, in this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate again how to generate the components just with simply Gerber files. So back to our original design, we'll just turn on the silkscreen layer. Uh, turning on the silkscreen layer is optional. If you would like to use the outline that comes with the components, uh, we, we recommend selecting the silkscreen layer objects. However, if it's not important, is silkscreen layer is not required. So what you'll do is you'll select the footprints uh, for a single component. Use the command build part. Look, verify pin one. And at this point, simply verify OK and all similar components will be automatically detected. We'll make this yellow to make it a little easier to, rec to see that uh, part. And then you just repeat the process for all different types of components on your board. Generally, this is a five to 10 minute process uh, for a medium sized board. For a small board like this, it's done within a few minutes. In any case, just repeat that process. Now what you'll need to do is simply assign the reference designators. And again, these are all optional processes that you can do. Just type it in there and just repeat for the remaining components. All right, now once we're done, we'll export the ODB++ file. Now let's view this inside the Mentor ODB++ Viewer and you see the components are there, pin 1 is defined, uh, paste layer, and basically everything that's required to have an intelligent ODB++ data with the nets, the components, and anything else you require. Thank you very much 